happened now that training camp is over and the, the real games begin? Mm -hmm. How do you feel like you've set yourself up for the regular season? Um, I mean, honestly, I just I just been taking it day by day. Um, you know, not trying to you know, not trying to look too far ahead and not you know dwelling on good or bad. Um, you know, like I said, just looking looking. Just literally just stacking good days on top of good days. And I feel like I've, you know, done a pretty good job of that. And, um, you know, just taking that same mindset that I've been taking, you know, from OTAs, you know, through training camp, you know, all the way to the regular season. So I'm um, excited to see, you know, what, what week one through 17, what 17 brings. And um, like I said, just taking it week by week and just day by day. So. How do you keep that momentum or mm -hmm. you know, how do you stay on schedule with when you have two days off, two days on, and yeah. three days off? beginning Friday, how do you just yeah. kind of stay in that rhythm and stay on the schedule? Yeah, I think for me it's just all mental, honestly. Um, you know, just never just never, just never, never getting out of it mentally. You know, obviously we're going to be out of it physically, um, but I think for me just, uh, you know, just making sure that I'm keeping my mind, my mind sharp and um, just focusing on the, the things that I want to see happening for myself this season, where I want to be at the end of the season, um, you know, how I can help, you know, contribute to this team. And, you know, um, those three days off, you know, being able to, Watch, you know, watch Detroit trying to get a jump ahead on those guys, and um, you know, just trying to stay, you know, just trying to stay above, you know, stay above the ball. And so, um, I think for me, like I said, just being able to, um, you know, just get ahead a little bit, you know, being able to watch film and break down the defense, break down the DBs, and all those things. So, where, where do you want to be by the end of the season? I mean, I think for me, man, I, like I said, I, I, I want to be a guy that you know can can be a big contributor, you know, on offense, and um, you know, like I said before. However, I can help this team out. Um, whatever my role is, you know, throughout this, you know, throughout the season, it, it may be on O, it may be on special teams. Like I said, I'm just trying to, literally, just take it one day at a time. But I mean, just to answer your question, I want to be a guy that can contribute, you know, heavily, um, you know, for for this for this team on offense. So, with all the reps you've gotten mm -hmm. throughout training camp and preseason at receiver, where, where do you think your game has improved the most? Um, I would say honestly, with the offense, I would say just learning it and just understanding the verbiage of the offense, um, knowing where to be, you know, in the right spot, you know, uh, getting reps with Jimmy and Trey, um, you know, working with you know two different quarterbacks, you know, you know, both of them like certain different things, and just being able just to adapt to both of those, right? Um, and I think for me, like I said, just being able to learn the offense, you know, the verbiage of the offense, um, you know. And this is being able to work with both guys because, like I said, they like and they like to look. They like different. They like certain looks, and so uh, for me, I think it's just being able to make sure that I'm in those right spots, in those right areas for those guys. So, what aspects of the offense has sort of allowed you to springboard yourself into, you know, somebody who came in maybe initially as a special teams mm -hmm. guy to somebody who could play a lot of receiver? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think for me, I learning all learning all the positions for me really, really helped me out. Um, and just being prepared, um, you know, I, I think uh, in anything that you do, uh, the, the thing that you can control is just being prepared. And so, uh, you know, I, 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 came into, I, came into this, I came into this team just telling myself that I'm, the thing that I'm going to do is be prepared and uh, just going to let the chips fall where they may. And, um, you know, you know Co Coach Shanahan, he's a genius, you know, and um, him, him being able to plug, put, and, put and plug different guys in different situations to make plays, you know, going to the hot hand and those type of things. And um, it's just a different feeling, um, you know, when you, you step out there on game day, you step out there on practice, and you, you have a guy like Kyle, Coach Shanahan, you know, calling the plays. You know, you're confident not only in yourself, but you're also confident in the play call too, so. A lot of people would say you're one of the big surprises of camp, at mm -hmm. least just because we haven't seen you before. Did you surprise yourself, or has it always been just a matter of kind of getting the opportunity, or maybe yeah. a combination of both? Yeah, no, I've I've always I've always knew that I could play. I've always knew that I could play. Um, I think for me it was just about just getting that opportunity, just somebody just um, being able to see that I can play. Um, you know, somebody recognizing my value. And I think for me, I just I just kept my head down. You know, even when I was in Arizona and I was kind of just hidden. You know, um, you know beneath you know a lot of good talent. You know, I just made sure that I just kept, I just kept my head down. I knew that my time would come, um, and and again, like I said, I'm going to continue to keep my head down. Um, and I'm not saying that my time has come yet. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that if that that time has come. But um, for me, I think it's just about keeping my head down and just literally just chopping wood every single day, every single chance that I get to play ball. You know, I'm grateful for it. And so, um, just going out there, just putting my best foot forward every chance I get. Trent, I assume you knew a little bit about Fred Warner. Yeah. Um, you got here. Absolutely. What struck you about him now that you're his teammate? Oh, Fred is a hard worker, man. Me and Fred have uh, me and Fred have, have, have developed a really, really good relationship. Um, 
um, his fiance and my wife, they're, they're, they're really good friends. And, you know, we just literally just went out to dinner together um, after our last preseason game. And um, the thing about Fred is, man, he's a, he's a very, very hard worker. Um, he's very passionate about the game. And uh, he's somebody that when I, see, when I see him, I see me, you know. And, um, you know, he's always staying after practice, always a guy, vocal leader, um, and always somebody that can, that's always somebody that's backing up what they're, what they're saying. And so he's a, he's a guy that's, that you can easily get behind, you know, as a, as a captain, as a leader, um, and somebody that I just, I've, just, I've just grown to have tremendous respect for. Did he pay for dinner? <laughs> I, 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 I wish he would have, but we, 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 ended up, we ended up splitting the bill. But next time, I'm going to keep that in mind for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. When you were in Arizona, what, what were your takeaways from playing with Larry Fitzgerald and maybe Hopkins? Yeah, um, I mean, I'll start with Larry. When I first got there, um, I always tell this story. Um, nobody was wanting to sit by, you know, all the rookies, you know, we all went in and everybody sat down. And Larry sat in the back of the left, back of the left room. And nobody sat down next to him. And I literally jumped in the seat because I was like, man, I want to learn from this guy as much as I can. And um, But, I mean, literally not just only on, on, on the field, but off the field, I would say I've learned the most from him, just being able how to conduct yourself, you know, interviews and being able to, you know, just treat people certain ways and just little, nug little nuggets that I've learned from him. Um, it's really, really um, not only transformed my game as a player, but also just as a person. And so... Um, you know, Larry, Larry is as advertised. He's a really, really good guy. Um, you know, just the day in the day out work that he showed. He didn't have to tell me anything as far as on the field goes. I just watched him. Um, I trained with him for a whole entire summer. Um, and like I said, I, I, he didn't have to say anything. His, his actions and the way that he went about his work spoke volumes to me. Um, and you literally be a fool not to take anything and learn from literally one of the greatest receivers of all time and, and, and also to DeAndre Hopkins, man. I mean, watching that guy, watching him play and watching him work is, is, um, is, is it, it was tremendous as well too. And I, I say it all the time that I was, I was, gen I was grateful. I was literally generous and grateful enough to be able to have Larry as a, you know, as a rookie, as a young guy coming up in this league, a lot of guys don't have that. And so I was, I was definitely, um, I definitely had the advantage there. So. I guess. All right. Thank you, guys.